Here we go again. Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to do the starting over tag. I think the premise of this tag is you have to start all over. You need to start your collection all over. You don't have any makeup. What, 16? I think it's 16 items. Uh, would you pick to purchase or repurchase to start your whole collection over again? So I just love the idea of this tag and um, we're just going to go right into it. The first thing that I would need is a foundation or BB cream, something like that. And I'm actually out of it, but I would get the Too Faced Beauty Balm um, in Snow Glow. I absolutely loved that and I would like to purchase it again, but I have other foundations that I'm going through right now. So if I woke up tomorrow and I had nothing, I would get the Too Faced Beauty Balm. Uh, the second thing that I would get is a concealer, and the concealer that I would go ahead and purchase is the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. Now for those of you who don't know, Kat Von D has been certified as cruelty free by uh, Tashina over at Logical Harmony, which is a great resource for those of you who are looking to go cruelty free. I will link her down below. There's a lot of back and forth about whether or not they're cruelty free, and they are, and I love them. I love that concealer. It is so full coverage and so, so nice. The next thing that I would probably want to have is some sort of powder. I can survive without powder because I have pretty dry skin, but I would go ahead and get the e.l.f. mattifying powder because I don't like spending a lot of money on powder since I don't wear it every single day. For blush, the product that I would start out with is the Josie Marin Pink Escape Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelee. I love the way those feel on my skin. They are so soft and beautiful and have this like lit from within glow. Although I would also probably want some sort of powder blush to go along with it. And the one that I would get is actually something that I don't have. I can't justify buying another blush right now. Um, but I really, really, really want this one from Hourglass, one of their Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. And when I get off my no-buy, I will probably purchase it, but um, I've wanted it for a really long time, and I figure if I don't have blushes, I have an excuse to buy something I haven't tried yet. So hopefully that would work out. For eyeshadow primer, I would definitely go with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I absolutely love Too Faced. Um, it, I just think it's perfect. And then I would also want some sort of shadow base and uh, like a liquid or a cream shadow and I'd probably go with one of the Josie Marin coconut watercolor eyeshadows, probably the Rio de Rose Gold because it's beautiful by itself but also as an eyeshadow base it's so glittery and just delicious. I would want to get some sort of eyeshadow palette and the one that I would go with is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, the newer one. I just love the texture of the shadows in there. They are so, so beautiful. And again, I can't wait to be done with Project Pan so I can go back to playing with that because it's just, oh, it's such a glorious palette. I love it. For eyeliner, hands down, it would be my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, my liquid liner. It's it's my go-to and right now I don't have any because I'm trying to use up my other liquid liners but I miss it so much so if I had no liquid liner that is what I would pick up. I would also want a black liner for my waterline and so the liner that I would go with for that is actually by Hard Candy and it is the Stay In Line eyeliner. It is the only one that I have not had trouble transferring to my contacts. For mascara, the one that I would probably pick up is the Milani Total Lash Cover Mascara. I can't wait to buy that again when I'm done with Project Pan. Um, and then for my brows, I would want some sort of bronzer, actually. I've been using bronzer in my brows lately. And so the bronzer that I would go with would be the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. Along the same lines of that, I would want some sort of highlighter, and I would probably go with the Too Faced Candlelight, although I've been wanting to try the Becca one. I have not yet tried it, so yeah. And then I'm going to go with two lip colors so that I have a little bit of variety, and they're both by Flower. They're both the Flower High Shine lip colors that I've been loving lately. They've been in my project pan, and it would be Baby Buttercup, which is a nice neutral soft pink, and Ginger Lily, which is perfect if you have red hair. I believe that was 16. Um, if I went a little over, I'm sorry. But that is what would comprise my total makeup collection if I had to go out right now and 
only buy 16 things and had nothing else. I loved this idea. I love the idea of this and I have a few people that I would like to tag. I will link their channels down below. Um, the first one is Beauty Talk with Sin. I think you were tagged over a year ago to do this, but I couldn't find that you had done it on your channel. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and do it. I'd like to tag Amber F. And I would like to tag XO Love Letty. These girls are wonderful. Check out their channels. XO Love Letty and Beauty Talk with Sin are both cruelty-free YouTubers. And Amber F. is like my inspiration for all these project pans and stuff. She will get you motivated to stay on a YouTube budget. So I'd love to hear from the three of you. What would you go out and buy if you were doing the starting over tag? Let me know. And let me know in the comments if you weren't tagged. And if you want to do this video and you weren't tagged, do that. Just do it. You don't have to be tagged to do it. I wasn't tagged. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. If you'd like to see my family every day, you can do so by subscribing to our daily channel, which is Sudden Compact. And I also have a parenting channel, which we've been very active on lately because we are trying to conceive right now. Um, and that is Heidi Kim TV. That will be linked down below as well. Thanks for watching. Bye. And as I was straightening my hair today, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? It's just so warm. And then on top of it, it's damaging my hair. So I've decided to do something a little bit unique. 